what is up long time no video so uh this is what's going on got myself a pack of lithium ion batteries and uh they need to be topped off before i could connect them in series so they are all in parallel a couple chargers on it my friend's got all these chargers so pulling like 15 amps at like you know 4.2 volts or whatever on that one and I think this one he said is up to 10 amps but it's been on here for days it was like um, seven of them they came with two boxes of seven or 14 and seven they were uh, they were all at like 3.2 3.3 volts or whatever so I paralleled them and brought them up to 3.6 which is what the other pack came charged to and then we paralleled those and they've been running like two or th two plus more days like that two or three days um, up to 3.9 volts so it took forever to go from 3.5 or 3.6 to 3.7 you know and then it just a couple days like that and all of a sudden it went to 3.8 3.9 so i think it's getting to the top it'll probably start going up faster now so i think we probably put most of the charge into it but so these things you think i'm putting 15 amps and another 10 let's say it's putting in 25 amps but putting in 25 amps at about four volts or so so that's actually not a whole lot of wattage and so supposedly depending how close to new these still are for capacity they, they, they said they tested at 90 percent plus so supposedly it's about a 10 kwh pack right here i'm building and this is going to go in place of the lead acid batteries that i have outside that are like these that i have on here and i'll just reuse those to add to my other inverters ups machines so this should be able to do good so the only thing that's been hooked up to this thing has been my heat pump for my water heater. But if it ever uses the showers more at night, so it drains the lead acid batteries to reheat the water. And then the next time someone takes a shower or early in the morning, before the sun really comes up, then the dang thing, you know, it's running off utility. When I have all these on there, shoot, this would probably be able to run that heat pump for days probably worth of reheating water, you know. But it'll get recharged every day. Right now, you can see the batteries are almost topped off, 57 volts. It's almost to where it cuts off, and it's only like uh, 10 o'clock right now, 10:20. So right now, all solar is charging my batteries and running this. I have this plugged into there, so at least during the day, it switches over and it's pulling off the sun. So in a roundabout way, the sun is charging these up <laughs> at the moment. But when the sun goes down, then it's on utility power once the the lead acid go dead. It'd be cool once I put get these all on there. I should have enough power to always, you know, maintain the water without ever using utility power. And I should have power in reserve. Um, I'm hoping that way to run like, you know, if the power goes out, something like that. It'll run some refrigerators and stuff. Plus with all the other batteries I can add on to there, be able to, uh, you know, that inverter run a little longer too. And that's a pretty good 2,000 watt UPS. It's pretty beastly in its own. So that's what I'm doing, and I'll have to, uh, thinking about, I guess we don't want to really put these outside, so probably going to put them maybe up here. I might relocate these electronics pellets and just put a shelf right here. I might just put uh, that two stacks of those and then run the cable conduit down into there. See how that, that or something else. But I think I'm probably going to put them right there. It seems like the most logical place for them up and out of my way and close to the inverter charger. So, maybe over the weekend or something, maybe I'll get these hooked up. We'll see. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Check you guys later.